Stolen van suspect steals another vehicle. What the yeah, fuck? Yeah. Alex and Christine. I saw, and I counted a number of cars Control that he either sideswiped, he rammed. Bumper car style. Hit. So an, a stolen van, we assume that that did occur. Uh, perhaps he was lit up while in that van just for All right, a we're traffic violation. He knew, uh-oh, this car came back stolen. Officers are on me. I got to get out of here. That's when we saw him ram that patrol car. He broke into a house and a dude attacked him with a knife. That Love that. His deadly force right there was pursued for miles through Orange County, through Garden Grove, out of Fullerton, into Whittier now. And then was able to commandeer this pickup truck. This this pickup truck. Guys, uh, we love crime here. here. You know this already. Now he's slowing down. I voted for crime. I literally voted for this behind. yesterday. Okay, crime in Southern California. I voted for this, and I'm excited. This vehicle up, and and if that's a law enforcement. Bro, they have uh, a fucking a speed. That airship, or if it's one of the media ships, because we have night sense as well. That's they have his speed. They have a speedometer, we dude. We have eyes on them. The other media ships do. We believe that that one helicopter, that dark colored hel helicopter, flowing at a lower altitude than we were up in Sky Fox, but now he's picking up speed. Uh, is flying and tracking. Oh this shit! He's going alerting, 60 miles now. Uh oh. On the ground. All points bulletin. This guy is moving too quickly that's dangerous endangering lives across this area of that's Southern not California. good that's dangerous and this needs to be brought to an end he did turn on the lights for the vehicle because those surface streets there that oh shit parking lot. let's dark. see what happens this is a big parking lot Ooh. of some facility and we also we, don't know how much gas is uh, in that vehicle look at him yeah there could be Whoa. somebody pushing a cart out in the oh gosh yeah. Wait, where are the People cops? Pulling in, unclear what this, uh, what this is. Magnolia and Hadley in still in Whittier, and now really Oof. busy. People coming and going, perhaps from a grocery store, a Target. Something. What the fuck? Uh, several uh, businesses. Bro, there. chill. And oh he just, shit! He just Yo. made his way around, around that. Now back out. There's that night sun. You can see that illumination lighting this vehicle up. This stolen. We believe it's stolen. We don't think he has any connection to this vehicle. We <laughs> saw it live certainly here. Look, certainly look like a stolen yeah, vehicle. Exactly. <laughs> that's a Bro, this is what we voted for, baby. And I do Democrats, that, uh, crime 2022. Let's go. What happened? How his van became disabled because of that left rear tire. So for those of you who don't know, in a lot of these circumstances, you know they I, don't I, actually do a police chase because it's a it's obviously like a fucking straight up neighborhood, right? So they won't actually put cops on them because they don't want to. Whoa, what the fuck? Here's the so altercation. On, on the right hand oh, side. Oh, shit. Earlier, this is the altercation. There's a woman the down there. There's a woman. A small a dog. dog? Look at that. Wow. Bro, how do you get that car? What the, the fuck? Uh, they were trying to shut the that. They were trying to shut that, uh, that gate to prevent him from leaving. And, and they, they went could, in front oh, of look the at vehicle. that. That's yeah. assault on that's assault on those men. Oh. Wow, look at that. Their dog. The dog almost got run over now too. Now he's running out. The dog's running out and probably the gate was supposed to trap him. Now the dog's running onto a busy street. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that poor family. <laughs> what the fuck? This is, this Bro, is the fucking else. commentary so is, is so this is dumb. A situation where we hope and pray that nobody has been badly injured yet. Uh, from what we've seen, there's been a number of uh, situations where this, tr where the van anyway, wow. struck other vehicles. That altercation. Anyway, listen. Yeah. The, the reason why there's no cops on him is because he's in a. He's these are crowded neighborhoods, right? If a police chase ensued in this circumstance, there would be infinitely more dead, which is precisely why they only let the helicopter fucking trail him around for hours and hours and hours, just for. For those of you who are wondering, that family shot a gun at him is what the news channel said. Jesus Christ. What the and fuck? It looks like he's shooting at him. And then the guy just keeps going, almost had, gets his leg run over. The dog runs out in the street. Then they, he runs after his dog. You could see Bro, that this dude bottom. is really, I mean, I, I love dogs too, but goddamn, bro. Like there's human beings, his lives at stake. So again, wow. the randomness of this and, and he's driving a little bit more calmer, a little bit uh, more conservative now, uh, looking in his rearview mirror, seeing that, all right, I'm not seeing any officers. He's got to have an idea. What's that light on me coming from above, perhaps? But he's not. Yo, what are you talking about? You know how loud those choppers are? What are you, fucking stupid? He definitely knows there's a helicopter Is on he him. under the influence? This guy's an idiot. He, he needs to go into a fucking above head parking lot and then either steal another car and dip out slowly or that's it passenger side ran across that street down the street there's no way you can't whoa he's losing the backyard 
Oh! He's losing the choppers! We saw that altercation. Uh, has yeah. he run into a little dead end or something? That's probably it. A cul-de-sac or a dead end driveway. Yeah, so this is the kind of place where they could potentially box him in if there were officers right behind that's him. That's Alex. Yeah. Alex is talking. The one that said box him in. Although they tried to box him in earlier and it didn't stop him, so... Well, here, here's a little information we're getting from Fullerton Police. So No, what he's supposed to do in the situation is literally go to a fucking above-head garage and then steal the another car and then dip out peacefully and slowly. The suspect was originally in a dark-colored sedan. At one point, stopped. No, that's not GTRP brain. I've seen these things. but That's literally what you're supposed to do. That's how you evade. That's literally how you get out of it. It's not even a joke. It's not drive. It That is how... People get out of these situations in real life. I've seen it happen. No, no. And when you do have that, there aren't a lot of thoroughfares. So perhaps he's running into those dead I'm not ends saying hide in a and, bush, uh, dude. And, and trying to just get out of that area. Beverly Boulevard now, still in Whittier. Unclear if that's just random that he's in Whittier right now or if he has a connection. As I always say, they at times will go back to an area that they're familiar with but it doesn't appear from what we've been watching here the last couple of minutes that he is familiar with that area what we can see though not a lot of police activity on the well, ground let, let me tell you what we didn't see okay so again this started out he try if he dips into a mall it's game over sedan, if he gets into an above if he gets into a fucking closed off uh, garage it's a wrap there's That's no shot in the white van this isn't a video game in. okay so cops have no fucking idea how to monitor a suspect like that? They're gonna have to. They're gonna have to investigate that as a crime afterwards. Okay. Oh, here's some old footage. And jumped into this van and look at the officers there. They get out of their vehicle. They That's crazy the that they couldn't even. Their own safety, which means by ramming the police car over and over, this driver is able to push it back and get it out of the wow. way so that that van can actually make an escape. My man said the, the police have been cruiser. defunded. That is the truth. Hey, dumbass. Those that fucking police force is literally worth more than a big chunk of a uh, country's militaries. Okay, the Los Angeles Police Department has gotten two point three billion dollars in funding this past year. Shut the fuck up, then gets, you idiot! Uh, you don't know anything. They never stuck. got defunded. Uh, they just suck. Not going to have enough room here with this parked car in traffic. Weird. Bumps that car, and then That's that van's done. Stuck. The van can't go anymore. It's stuck. And and you see the sparks. Wait, how the do they almost... How do they... Looks like it's about to catch on fire. How'd they fail to catch him? Um, and then a little bit later on, uh, the driver gets out of that thing. From and the then jumps, side. jumps out uh, across traffic and runs and gets away. Yep. He pops out the passenger side, runs across, jumps across the hood of that sedan there that sort of blocked him in. And... and those those units, uh, those SUVs, those police SUVs are heavy duty vehicles. But you saw that van was able to 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 ram it when it was uh, stuck in that in that residential area several times, putting those officers' lives in danger. Deadly force used there was able to push them back just enough to do a turn to get out of that area. And then the pursuit of this van was on, which you're saying, Christine, was the second yeah, vehicle. Second Bro, motherfuckers see this and go, if the police had $4 billion instead of $2 billion, they would have caught him here. No, man, that guy's still out of shape, okay? It's not like, it's not like the cops couldn't catch him there because, you know, the, the additional billion would have funded their fucking steroids. You know what I mean? No, nah, they still suck. They, they're just bad at their job, okay? At a certain point, you will recognize this reality. There, potentially another one aiming what looks like a weapon, but that doesn't seem to stop this guy from taking that vehicle. Gosh, those poor people. You know, and, and that truck, you know, and could running. be that man's and, livelihood. And there's know? no and there's no reason. Yeah, no, to I'm saying, yeah, if he gets away for a few hours or a day or two, yes, there's security cameras everywhere. They would ID him and they would catch him. You are correct on that. I'm saying that like if you want to evade in this circumstance, the only way to do so, especially if you have a helicopter on you, is by going into a parking lot that's underground or a parking lot that has a roof. That's the only way to evade. One of the most insane things I've ever seen was when uh, one of the people evading the police was actually working with another uh, suspect who literally left a fucking motorcycle in the middle of the street. You guys remember that? 
that was another way that you can evade. But like motorcycles are easy to fucking escape and, and, and easier to like evade cops on. But obviously you need a second person in that situation to like actually do a bike swap. Oh, cops uh, are in pursuit. Our chopper needs fuel. 2.5 so hours. The chopper is going to peel have. away, try to get some fuel and get just, back up, up yeah. in the air and, and bring just in more like, coverage. Uh, just like officer safety is our first, is their first priority, the safety of our folks in the chopper is our first priority. That's right. I know that so, firsthand. So uh, we're going to let them do that, and uh, then we'll see if this thing is still going once they get fuel. Uh, in the meantime, I know it's frustrating because we'd like to see what. What? No shot! Get the updated. fuck out of here! We'll talk about another big story now. Let's go! See, uh, some folks may be going home, but for the most part, relatively light traffic on Workman Mill Road. Air Seven, baby! Which is going to be a bit busier. So if he continues and makes a turn onto Peck Road, that'll be a different story. But right now, uh, traveling at a high rate of speed, we'll throw that real-time speed tracker back up, and you can see. Yeah, he's put the speed tracker on. Uh, Let's go! A, a much, well, it looks like he's slowing down a little bit because he's got some traffic there. But you saw him do about 50 or 60 on this. Uh, very narrow road uh once again going around uh a little bit of traffic at peck there and he's going to come over uh the 605 that is the 605 overpass no i'm Still not covering the speedometer the speedometer is in the middle this is just the compass just east of the just west rather of the 605 and what makes it also so dangerous these people on the road they have no idea that yeah. they're in danger they don't know this guy is coming you know right. uh, at high rates of speed uh coming at them and it, I just, uh, it, you More just boring because you just don't have entertainment like this? Yeah, that's true. Could, that's true. Advantage of getting black and whites behind it with lights yeah. and sirens, at least hopefully they can hear it coming. And also, I know there have been near misses, and he flies through every intersection, yep. but so far he hasn't smashed into somebody at one of those intersections. We're lucky when it comes to that. It looks like he's getting on the freeway. Oh, and they're, they're closing in on him. Oh, shit. Freeway is dangerous. Don't do that. That's not smart. That's not smart. You'll get cooked on the freeway. Getting on from Peck Road, and now it's a whole different ball game. I can only hope, we can only cross our fingers and hope that he stays on the freeway because that is going to take away at least That's a throw. Of the risk, although everybody on the freeway is certainly uh, going to be in his path here of destruction as we've seen this, e this evening. Uh, CHP almost guaranteed. He's going to get fucking, he's going to get T-boned, dude. Look at the cops. They're all up his ass. To get on the freeway with him. But he's hugging that right lane. So you see that traffic. This is all rush hour traffic. And it looks like if that continues, he may look to get back over to the right and get off the freeway. In any event, he's in the carpool lane now. So committed for the time being to the uh, eastbound 60 freeway. And he's look at weaving, this. He's weaving. Yeah, going weaving all, around. He's going almost 90 a little bit ago. Uh, but he's certainly uh, passing uh, the other cars. You see him you see sl there. slamming those brakes yeah. and coming right up, uh, right up behind some of these cars because he's going so much faster than them. But he's he's weaving his way through. Um, uh, yeah, if he's, I don't, I'm not quite clear on, on the oh. patterns on the 60 freeway where you are, uh, Chris. I don't know if it's going to get really sticky, but if it does, then we might have another situation on our hands. You know, I, I, I'm already recalling similar situations, nothing quite like this, but different situations where we've seen attempted carjackings on the freeway mm -hmm. and jumps to mind only because of what we've seen today. But in any event, you're right, David. It is going to slow down a little more. The traffic is going to get heavier. You're going to see a few more brake lights in about two miles off the nose. Traffic is a little bit heavier on the westbound That's side. That's crazy. The eastbound side. That's crazy that he fucking ran. Cops are time. so bad, brother. Look at this. He was able to fucking run. He was able to get out of the car with another cop behind him and run to a different fucking house. Trying to evade those deputies who have now fallen back even further. Every time he weaves through around another car in that carpool lane, they have to slow down because they are not we they are not driving the way he's driving, okay? Yeah. They are staying back trying to keep the public safe, but now they're in a position where they have to probably start calling in some units who are up ahead of him, like we've already seen uh, <laughs> back in uh, Santa Fe. <laughs> he Bridge. almost broke his ankles. Likely CHP setting up for a traffic break up ahead. This is here. where he goes in Maybe and steals the other car, I guess. Does take some 
time, but ultimately, if he stays on the freeway, that's what we can expect to see. He's we can expect to see some tactics where they start to create traffic breaks behind him and traffic breaks ahead of him by blocking off those entrance ramps. And we'll see what they do. Oh, with shit! The ramps. But ABC 7's got a way better now. fucking angle. Look know, at this. Uh, what they have oh, there's a dog underneath the car! Point, Get the dog out! out what now, the dog doing? What the dog doing? Oh, shit! Oh, the dog got out. The dog got out. The dog got out. Oh, my God. ABC 7 with the fucking angle, dude. And I just noticed the homeowner, there was a confrontation between him and multiple people within that home. One of the homeowners was waving a knife at him, and he was still able to maneuver his way into that vehicle and get away, somehow get it started and get through their fence and, it, and be it, on his it way. It looked like a knife or, or something. It looked like a knife, like a kitchen. Bro, he's going 90 right now. That's not that good. The, oh, the shit. That home was trying to yeah. keep one of he the weaving. What a situation. There it is. Okay. Uh, yes, so dramatic. Such a dramatic confrontation. Watch and the guy. That guy that's being held right there. He's Bro, he's got a knife. Such a dramatic confrontation. Watch and the guy. That guy that's being held right there. Yep, he's got yep, something in his hand. Yep, he does. It looks like a knife. They're doing what they can to protect their property, and he still is able to get his way. I feel bad for them because so that water situation to find yourself in. So awful. Yeah. And uh, he, as you were talking, Chris, a moment ago, he was going so fast. You didn't have the speeds up on the on the. Oh on the shit! That was there, close. Just, what the it, fuck? It seemed like he was going 100 miles an hour. He was just, uh, you know, blowing past all of the He's other vehicles on the freeway. He's basically been gassing it, flooring it wherever he's had the opportunity. Now, this is concerning. He's now on the shoulder, but he's gotten all the way back over to the right. As I mentioned, that traffic that I was talking about, that's what you're looking at here. It's too much traffic for his liking, and I predict that he's going to take take one of these upcoming exit ramps here. So we'll look out for that as we try and come around the driver's side here in just a minute. But he is hugging that right lane. Bro, he's I on the Pomona Freeway. Exactly he's coming sure. home. This is going to be, let me just double check here. I think this is going to be uh, perhaps... I'm not, Whoa, be, look at the graphics. This is crazy. Might be Rose Hills Road, yeah. the next exit ramp here. In any event, he is uh, committed. Look at this. He's That's actually funny. moving over to the left. So Yo, is the 60 like this, by the way? Can I just ask to all the fucking Cali boys in the chat? I've never seen a fucking freeway at rush hour be this empty. What is happening right now? Is this like the luckiest fucking rush hour or what, dude? Oh, he's stuck. Oh, he's going to get stuck him. again. And doesn't he see this? Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> he certainly sees it. I don't think. Yeah, oh, he's there it is. There it is. He's oh, up. There it is. I called it, dude. There's no so fucking is, way. You know, he's gonna wind it down here. Oh, oh, he's boy, so cooked. One here. Look at this. It's gonna be Azusa, Azusa Avenue. Avenue. Oh shit! He, he he's gonna get fucking T-boned by some random right car, dude. Right. Oh! oh. Right. right turn there, and now southbound. Southbound Azusa Avenue. Southbound Azusa Avenue. Too much traffic for him on the on the 60 freeway, and now the pursuit continues off the freeway onto surface streets. Uh, we'll see if the speeds continue as they have been, but uh, looks like he may think that he's lost those units on the ground. Still see that night sun shining a light on him, but I don't see those deputies just yet. Not sure if they were able to get off the freeway with him. They're dude, being directed to the chopper's sure supposed to let him go, dude. Again. He doesn't have enough fucking stars the chopper's supposed to let him go if he fucking if he gets away this much from on the ground units you gotta let the chopper go uh highly trafficked areas for the most part because of the time of the day it's a, it's a, it's literally the middle of rush hour at 5 40 on a wednesday afternoon and every turn he makes he sees brake lights for the most part and you can see folks just trying to get home without any idea what's coming up behind them he's already ruined several people's day but oh shit well what the we fuck just fell what does not that? appear to be that's a weed whacker that fell off the back oh. of that truck okay. by the way oh the, no by the way that's the poor guy's work vehicle too that he stole in the back of that, mm -hmm. that the, the back of that uh, to that, uh, excuse me, the bed of that, uh, that truck. Uh, pickup truck, yeah. excuse me. Uh, but in any event, that that's like, I, I do feel bad for the dude. Like, he just stole some dude's fucking work truck. You know what I mean? Insured? Yeah, okay, bro. The cars that there are in this residential neighborhood, he, again, has no problem ramming into anybody in his way, but he's trying to avoid them now. It's and stressful. back to those folks that he stole this truck from, and that's their livelihood, yeah. likely. That's That and was my point. He yeah. stole their business, yeah. and now it's in jeopardy. 
you know, it appears to be a brand new truck. If you look, that appears to be paper plates that are flapping uh, in the mm. back there. So oh. very likely a, uh, a newer model uh, F, uh, it looks like a Even Chevy. Even more upsetting. It's a, uh, Chevy, yeah, yes, a Chevy. Chevy pickup. Yeah. And he's continuing now around this, uh, this person. But man, he is just... That's crazy. This oh, is crazy. I, I, I just, I, I just, every time he gets into these residential neighborhoods, I worry for not only those cars in his way, but all of the people who live here. He, he decides to do anything crazy, which he's already done a lot of crazy things. It could get so dangerous. That incident where he ran through that house could have ended in a deadly situation. Sure there was obviously a struggle there. I'm just grateful that from what we observed, nobody was hurt. But there's no guarantee that it's going to end that way. In any event, he's continuing through this residential uh, suburb here. It's going to be, uh, looks like Crosshaven Drive at Calle Madrid. If you live in this neighborhood or know anybody who lives in this neighborhood, you are urged to stay inside because this is a dangerous pursuit that is speeding through your neighborhood. Okay, <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so people watching, uh, get inside. Dude, get this inside is the least traffic California I've ever seen. Various reasons. This is not, uh, this the, is the literally time. the least amount of traffic I've ever seen in California at rush hour. That this is wild to me. Maybe it's different in like Pomona or whatever, but th this is an insane. He tried a third vehicle as well. Oh, he as a cop, they just pay, pay you pass by two different times. What the fuck? He refuses to give up. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. oh, dude, he's uh, cooked. All right, he's cooked right here. right here. He's on the wrong side of the road. North no north shot. North. And there's a roadblock. He can make a turn there or if he continues. North, oh, he made it. But it looks like he's made a left turn onto Colima Road. Again, a lot more traffic on Colima as well as he makes that westbound turn. I still don't see anybody behind him. There are a few units a ways back, so they all. Oh, he's so him, cooked. He's so cooked. He's so cooked. Maybe he's several here. football fields back uh -oh. as he comes up on another red light, trying to get around them. Lots of cross traffic here as he continues through that red light, and he's able to make it through. So Colima That's Road crazy. westbound is where we are. The helicopter's still overhead, and those sheriff deputies trying, trying desperately to catch up. And Chris, they can't uh, the, because uh, Alex the, uh, Villanueva is no longer the sheriff. Civic. That was stolen. That's the problem, boys. They can't though, because the police is defunded. You know what I'm saying? And they're they're embarrassed. That's the reason why they can't catch him. Otherwise, they would have caught him already because they're defunded. Nothing to confirm that it was a stolen vehicle, only to say that they tried to pull him over for some reason. Not sure what oh, that reason whoa, is. Oh, right. oh, Near miss! Oh, my goodness. A close call there onto the median, over the, over the median, and now continuing after missing that cross traffic just Gosh. by a hair. Just by a hair. Woo, Look cops! Officers able to shut down that intersection. We'll see if we start to see that happen again. If he continues in Why the haven't they but shut down intersections? It looked like maybe an undercover vehicle at that intersection. They're oh, shit! They're they are. Cutting him off oh, they're coming off intersections. Oh, they're closing traffic. Oh, it's over. They're going to try to fucking pit maneuver him. They're going to try to cut. They're going to try to shut down intersections ahead of him now. Oh, he's cooked. To try and leapfrog his trajectory along Colima Road here. That will look, look at the intersections. Dramatically. It looks like Lots they've got traffic. another intersection yeah. uh, blocked off here at Puente Hills and Colima. So oh. it's going to be another dangerous situation, but no cross traffic as those deputies have shut down the intersection, giving him a wide berth to speed through the red light and now continuing westbound on Colima Road. But just the mere act of shutting down the freeway. It saves lives because it stops all of the traffic. Whatever the light traffic so signal says, everybody comes to a stop, and this guy can just speed right through these intersections and not kill anybody. So and he's Chris, continuing at 90 miles yeah. per hour on Colima here, and here come those black and whites. Now yeah. they're closing in on them. Yeah. And Chris, oh, this is a shit. Area. I okay, so cops stop the traffic uh, first. Uh, uh, you know, they yeah. try to, like, make sure that the traffic is no longer, uh, you know, see, notice how everything is open now. This is when they're going to try to fucking cook them. Uh, okay? We they stop the traffic Heights. so that there isn't, uh, like, civilian the casualties so they can go in and Hacienda fucking Heights ram his ass. 
the 60 freeway. So just a few blocks north of him is the 60 freeway. So we're going westbound on Colima Road. And if he continues in this direction, he'll come up on the 605. So uh, 605 off ahead of him, uh, the 60 freeway off to his right. Uh, and those deputies clearly closing in on him, giving him a little bit of, a little bit less space and if they have an opportunity, which they can't with all of this other traffic in their way, but if they have an opportunity, they will pit him. They will pit him mm -hmm. and do whatever it takes yeah. to get him off the road. And but they should. that assumes that it, those officers are It will are be, qualified. though, exceptionally dangerous if he's going at that rate of speed with that large of a vehicle. But, you know, I guess anything is possible, especially, you know, law enforcement needs to put a stop to this. And oh! Losing control right there. up on the curb. Losing control. Oh! oh. oh. Yeah, God damn, that's right. like a Chevy ad, ad brother. Oh, Holy and shit, that like shit's got control. That deputy, and he was coming up right behind him, and that, he took that aggressive yeah. Action, jumping the curb, tearing off somebody else's bumper, uh, just added to the list, guys. But uh, yeah. the pursuit now continuing on Colima through another intersection. Here's another red light. We'll see what he does here. More cross traffic coming through, and now a southbound turn onto South Hacienda Boulevard. Uh, presumably, those deputies. I did. I changed the title. I changed the title to Crime Wins Big in LA. Yeah. Just okay. about maybe Closing four in. or five car lengths back. If he slows down at all, they will close that gap, but every time they do that, he just basically speeds up. At this at this speed, I don't I don't know. I don't know if they could pull off a pit maneuver. It just seems exceptionally dangerous. It's and exceptionally dangerous, but you know what? We've oh! seen situations. Oh, look at him! Desperate times. He's fucking gaining, measures. dude. I think mm -hmm. the bigger factor is the fact that there's so many innocent people around him. If they have a straightaway, and obviously this. they can't do it. At they like can't do it. On I love the fucking news media acting like cops give a shit about the safety and security of civilians. I mean, I guess they are. In this circumstance, that's why they're not fucking tail, uh, they're not like tailgating him. That's why they're not like hooking him. See the road, cars pulling over make room for him. But thankfully, in this situation, at least you have the lights and sirens from those deputies. Folks, I'm hearing that because of woke liberal DAs, he will be out by morning, even if the cops apprehend him. Folks, many of you at home are probably wondering why this criminal scumbag has still not been caught. And I'm talking to cops on the ground and the sheriff's deputies are saying that they are undermined by liberal propaganda. It has hurt their feelings. They're saying Biden is responsible. They're saying that Sheriff Joe Ar uh, Joe Arpaio, Sheriff's Sheriff Villanueva is no longer in control of the sheriff's department in Los Angeles. This is precisely why they cannot apprehend this suspect. It's exceptionally dangerous. He, and has he no will boundaries. not give up. No boundaries. No None. boundaries whatsoever. None. He just wants no to get away. No boundaries. No inhibitions. Yeah. He is going for it. I mean, I think he's gymnastics. Thank you for the five. Get the sub. This is going to end, and it's not going to be pretty. He's basically enjoying his final minutes of freedom here because there is just no chance at this point. No chance whatsoever that he gets away. Yeah, this is, is crazy. Okay, so as we continue to watch the situation, I just want to let you know, I'm getting texts and emails from viewers who are saying that a lot more was going on with that family that he stole this truck when they were trying to fight him off than we may have seen. I'm not going to say more than that. What? We'll analyze the video when we get the opportunity. There may be something to it. There may not be. But uh, eventually we'll be able to look back at that as we continue what? this situation, which is equally dangerous, and people have nowhere to go to get out of his way. So uh, perhaps... You think relatives? They, they knew like, who, what the fuck? What no, are they no, trying no, to no, say? No, like okay. th them trying to fight him off. I yeah, see. They were doing their best to defend off themselves. Off-roading, off-roading. He's going to be in trouble here. He's going to be in trouble. He's, He's off the road, off the road. At Ooh. Of speed. Oh, my gosh. He oh, he hit something. Mm-hmm. All right, back on, back on Hacienda Road. He's gonna, oh, man, he just missed that one. Missed that car barely. It's a windy road that's going to meet up with Hacienda Road on the other end, also called Hacienda Road, okay, where it'll have a little more room for him to play with. But right now, it's a windy road with a lot of traffic in both directions. He's now going the wrong way, and here come separate deputies in the oncoming lanes of traffic. But really, what can they do? I mean, yeah. he's just, I, was on, I mean, other than uh, getting into a head-on collision, which oh is not gosh. an option. God uh, damn, brother. Now and hopefully triangulate more units ahead of him here, which there will be another major intersection uh, off his nose here. But in any event, he's... Why is he bat-chesting? Because this is, this is exciting. This is compelling. Come on, be real. Speed yeah. once again. 
Oh man, this is just, it just takes your breath away with every intersection that he blows through. Right, uh, it, but gosh, well, he's got a dead end here. No, I mean, it's a, it's a tease, so he has to go one way or the other. This looks like a residential area. Yeah. Another oh, he's cooked. Yeah. Neighborhood with very oh, he's so cooked. They're going to uh, cut off the access from the other not, side. Okay, so that's El Rancho Drive and uh, a series of deputies. Oh, another helicopter just passed by. This neighborhood, or at least two. Okay, so these are the two that were coming. They turned around with them. Those original deputies, just to put this in perspective, appear to have fallen back. They could not keep up with his driving on Hacienda Road. But those two that were coming... Bro, they're fucking... The he's a great driver. Right Can I just them. say... So two brand new deputies engaged in this hot pursuit... I, I do have to admit, my man is driving the fucking doors off that car, okay? Oh, shit! Dead end! This is scary. Uh -oh. This is scary. A cul-de-sac. They're going to come face to face with the suspect. And you guys. Bro, he's doing a K-turn. That's crazy. The audacity. The balls. He's going to get hit. No shot. He doesn't. No way. Y'all suck. You cops suck. That's crazy. Bro. He did a K-turn. He did a three-point K-turn. Yo, NA cops, learn to drive. If law enforcement gets head to head with them, then that's crazy. We're funding this. Right. And so what happens? Sure you give two more billion dollars. Point. You think they're Maybe they're gonna fucking change, change that? To a peaceful solution. Yo! Maybe he's under the influence. Maybe he'll come down. Maybe he'll uh -oh. become exhausted. Two billion dollars. Oh, he's coming. Oh Lord, he's coming. And he's just gonna go around him. That's, That's what? Protocol. You can see they're following protocol. What? He just around. let him pass. He's not gonna box him in. And part of the reason, guys, is because these tactics. Look at this. He's going out of the neighborhood where there are about oh. a half a dozen. Right oh! 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 Those deputies. Oh! He's missing them. Unbelievable. There's about a. Oh! Oh! A sea let him go. Let him go. He deserves it. He deserves freedom. Let my man be free. Two billion dollars, by the way. I can tell you that part of this is tactical protocol yes. within the department because there are other agencies <laughs> that would treat this a little bit differently. But right He's now, the goat. He's the, the goat. Sign him for the Formula One races. He's the goat. Okay, I'm just being... I've just told that he uh, is facing now three charges of ADWs assault with a <laughs> three charges of ADWs of all the other crimes that we've witnessed here. clearly he doesn't care about the charges that he's facing the list, but you this can see so how stressful to watch yeah. in here it's unbelievable yeah it so is stressful. it is unbelievable and and he's back is is this going to be that windy road again but going the it other is, way it is he's backtracking on that same that's crazy road. he went back to the worst road he possibly could. He's like, I can outdrive these motherfuckers. Why not? He literally is like, I can outdrive them. They can't do shit to me. Into the, you know, shrubs almost. It was a miracle he was able to maintain his composure there. But spinning up a lot of dust. It's a narrow road and about a dozen black and whites behind him. But that tire, I think his back left tire is. Oh, he lost the tire. It's over. Look at that. More sparks flying. Not sure. It's over. He hit. Yeah. He hit uh, something. But something is he hit something on the windy road, and the tire is cooked. It's done. That pickup truck was strapped down. Very possibly. Look at, very Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Part of me wants him to get away. It's kind of fucked up. I know because like this is probably not a good guy. But goddamn, dude. You know we, as human beings, we can't help but admire greatness. You know what I mean? And this dude, straight up, he he's great. I mean, he's great at driving. He's so good at driving. On, on, uh, by the way, to get on the other side, get on the driver's side and catch a glimpse of that left rear tire yeah. to see what he's working with back there. But something back there was hitting the pavement, creating those sparks. Oh, there you see more front. sparks actually coming from the front. front. It's coming from the front left. Front left sparks. We'll see what his treads look like, but he is... Oh! He's, got he's, he's oh, he's cooked. Again. He's done. He's missing the tire. Okay, so, by the way, this is not the first time we've seen this in this pursuit. No, not but, but now time. he's on a windy one-lane road. Oh, that's crazy. How does he keep turning? He's to handle that truck. So he's going to hit something. 
yeah, there's no way. There's no way he's going to continue these turns, play. especially at these speeds. And they're going to close in on him when he does. But again... Now these motherfuckers so want to take him down. Look, look at this. Now they're going to hit him. Oh, yeah? After his tires are gone? You fucking cheaters? That's bullshit. So much uh, collateral uh, in his way here. Uh, civilians that are just in danger every time uh, I, I see every... Oh, man, I just... I, I, sorry, I, I just cannot keep up... With Imagine he gets out and steals another vehicle. Uh, dude, I'm not going to lie to you. I know this is real life and it's really fucked up, but, like, I would be lying to you if I didn't want that to happen a little bit for right. the people who are coming at him they Horse have parts. nowhere to go like i just i want no one to be hurt but also at the same time like vehicle it's going to be really tricky it'll be a miracle if he gets through this it doesn't mean he won't he might get through it we've seen a crazy things happen on this pursuit and let's hope he does get through it so no innocent people get hurt but right there and there are blind turns that people will be coming out of nowhere and they'll be have to be evasive and who knows if he can maneuver that truck to get out of the way uh, you're starting to get a better idea of how much law enforcement is dedicated to getting this guy off the road there's about a dozen units behind him we just saw another half dozen in front of him in the opposite lanes and now he is continuing at a high rate of speed on a straightaway portion of hacienda boulevard coming up on colima road once again if he decides to get back on colima but Look at that. He's losing that rim. And it's incredible. He's on borrowed time with this truck. By the way, we're, we're starting eyewitness who's at 6 o'clock now. Giovanna has, has, has switched out with Ellen Leva. Ellen Leva was with us when this began during eyewitness who's at 4 o'clock. So we're going to... Bro, this guy's working harder than the local news people. Local news have already switched. It's nighttime news now. Uh, also, uh, someone in the chat said, the problem is not necessarily turns in when you don't have a wheel. It's... Uh, it's actually stopping. Braking is going to be an issue. You're right. That front left uh, brake rotor is going to overheat and lock up eventually. Okay, whatever. What are you, a mechanic, dude? Who knows? Uh, maybe. That sounds endangered. legit. We've, we've witnessed that first. And how is he maneuvering with just that front tire well, like that? Let's let's see how this barely, goes. Barely maneuvering. You see, we're very fortunate that he's on a straightaway section of street here. But if he has to make any any tight turns at any speed, it's going to be very difficult for him. But at the very least, oh! you're going to start to see... Oh, look at him bobbing and weaving, dude. It's crazy. And eventually, the axle won't be able to turn. But that's obviously... It's a not a Ford. It's a Chevy truck. chat. It's built uh, for all kinds of situations, and these are uh, not easy. That's a Chevy a Silverado down, drove one on rims at the Milford Test, test Track for 50 miles. Truck. Man's and good. Shut up, Ward off. Front left tire. It's only a matter of time. Now those deputies have fallen back once again because he's blowing through these red lights, continuing at a high rate of speed, 70 miles per hour at what cannot be more than about a 45 mile per hour speed limit, and he's blowing through all these all these intersections with cross traffic. So many close calls. It's a miracle. Wait, what? What? We haven't seen anybody get hurt. Now they I shot him? The freeway that I believe was. Wait, where, how, how does it end with the shoot? Why do you know they shot him? Oh, he got stuck. Okay. All right. Uh, oh, wait. Nope. Not yet. They're shooting him. Spoiler alert, chat. What the fuck? Oh, they cooked him. It's done. They rammed into him. He's in a fucking gas station. He's in a gas station. Oh, shit. He's still trying to push through. He crashed into the gas station pumps. Look at this. Oh. Ramming into the front end. They're shooting. They're, They're shooting, shooting at him. They're shooting. They're We're going to wide out. It's coming and to they an are end. now firing into the cab of that. Oh, they're truck. fucking oh, cooking oh, him, oh, dude. What the fuck? He's still they gunning it, though. Using force. Deadly force is being employed at this moment. Oh my god, the fucking this. the oh the journalists are so horny, bro. Local are news. Stopping. They are stopped. They have stopped. The wheel, no. the wheel is no, off. No. Still that trying. Look at that wheel is off. That real time. They literally no. blast him, bro, just because he's a better driver than you? That's fucked up. So his foot's on the yep. gas. It's sort of like Unbelievable. Deja vu. Unbelievable. Uh, Unbelievable. Un Foot on the gas. Listen, it's Bullets flying through that truck. And now we'll see as they surround Bro, the vehicle. Bro, the cops literally the fucking got out of their cars, like 11 of them behind one car, and just unloaded into him. At least the rear of the vehicle. They can't 
surrounded completely, obviously. They don't want to create a They're crossfire situation. They're telling everybody situation. to get out of the way. They're telling the innocent bystanders to get out of the way. What is yeah. this? Oh, there's a cop. Or an Somebody's hurt. It oh looks no. like somebody. That's the driver. That's the driver. It looks like the driver of that car that he rammed head on into. But are they putting cuffs on him? It looks like he's being arrested. He's being what? detained for that's some reason. What? Not sure what that's about, but we'll focus on Why? the truck. What? We'll focus on the truck. They're fucking arresting a random civilian. This ending in a crash with several vehicles, oh including that one right there. He's still and trying you can to see go. He's still at... gassing it. I'm um, creating a lot more spots. Bro, what just happened? Or did they not? Disabled. Do you see? There is uh, something I, there. And why haven't something, they shot? Something, something just went out of the window. Now, now that may have been a gunshot. That may have been something. He's still look. gassing it. Have they shot any tear gas canisters into the car? Multiple bullet holes through the driver's Do you side see window, that? guys. Bro, I can't show you because they shot the fucking guy. They shot at the car. Bro, what just happened? They shot at him and straight into a line of civilian cars and houses. They blasted the fucking window. The dude is still, his foot is still on the gas pedal. And now we don't see the, the wheel turning anymore. They may be waited. I'll just show you one second what it is. This. I hate to tell you. But obviously a treacherous and deadly situation potentially for uh, for the suspect. So we they shot at him in a gas station. That, uh, they the literally fucking arrested a random citizen who they rammed into, who the... Who the suspect rammed into. I just watched it happen. A completely random person was arrested and detained and, and handcuffed. Whose car was driven into. That is wild. I've never seen anything like that. What the fuck? Is there a fire? What is that? Driver's seat just yet, yeah. mm -hmm. but uh, well, we've got to... We'll, we'll analyze the situation. There may be bullet holes there down on the door. Maybe they didn't shatter the windshield. Maybe there was shooting at the Wait, there's a fire at the, the gas there's station. A, no smaller, shot. Yeah, smaller rounds in the rear window, large shotgun shells yeah. through the front window. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just a wait-and-see game at this point. They are eventually... Obviously treating this with kid glove care, but, obvi but obviously... He's definitely dead. I think he's dead. I, I don't think he can... Uh, look at, there's a fire. Oh! The car's on fire! Yeah. What the fuck? The vehicle's on fire, gonna and that's going to gonna require the fire later, department. Then. They're yeah. going to have to pull him out. Yeah. Absolutely. They're going to have to pull him out of the driver's seat. It, this is that, not over. <laughs> this is Bro, is that a gas station? As he um, ran into. Uh, well, patrol Total. cars had a hard time keeping up with him, but he's run into a lot of civilian vehicles. And I have to say, Chris, and I'm sorry to say, but this ended exactly as we suspected it would. It was really, really tragic to see this yeah. happen. Yeah, I, I think that last officer tried to ram into him intentionally, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. but then he put it in reverse and rammed right back into him. Yeah. There were multiple. I mean, if you ask how many black and whites have been hit, I've lost oh, count, quite frankly. So look at this. Look at this. They came in with the shield, and they're and they're using the fire extinguisher. Cars in traffic at the end of that pursuit before that major intersection, uh, and there was one jeep, a white jeep, uh, oh, soft top. That he got Why does that cop have a max I prestige have a weapon? I don't know. Okay. They're going to have to check on him. We're, keep in mind, we're getting all of the video gathered. We'll show you what has happened here. But right now, the concern, you see the bullet holes in the door and the windshield. And then those big bullet holes there, which could be shotguns, uh, shotgun shots uh, that went through the windshield a, a couple of minutes after Multiple we initially shots. saw. Yep. Yeah. So we're going to watch this situation. And, and see what happens here. Um, but this was one of the most incredible, if not the most incredible pursuits I've ever seen. I mean, and, visually. And a lot of years of pursuits. We, we did see that giant Bro, RV, they f he stole uh, three fucking cars. Disintegrated. That was incredible to see. But when it comes to sheer. Or two cars. Fear and, and worry for what this person is capable of doing. I don't know if anything measures to what we just saw. And as someone you. who is so desperate to get away, I've never seen anything like All that. All right, guys. I'm being told. That uh, obviously we don't know what his condition is inside that vehicle, but they bro, look at how much how potato-like they all are. It's crazy. That vehicle. Mm. So 
now it appears that they are aware of a weapon potentially inside that vehicle. That's gonna, not that that, I mean, <laughs> that, that whole truck has been a weapon this entire time, obviously, but if there's a weapon inside that vehicle, that adds to the calculus. Uh, <laughs> he said, bro, ran into a, a bunch of max level players in a PVP zone. Los Angeles is officially a PVP zone. That is true. So that is what's going on. Yes, there are some police hiding behind a homeless person's shopping cart. That is true as well. Aggressive. Okay, so while ahead, they're watching sorry. this, uh, where you watch this, Chris, we're, we're showing some folks some, some of the, the details of what happened during this pursuit. And on that windy road, here we see him kind of aggressively maneuvering around these single... Do you have the, do you have the YouTube way. stream? I'll and go to the YouTube then, stream. Uh, from this aggressive behavior is when I think eventually we saw him go up on the shoulder of the road, and that may be what caused him to create that... that f Wait, does this not have commentary on it? This doesn't have commentary, though. None of this has commentary. <laughs> okay. Okay, we'll go to ABC7. Smashes into that Jeep, and the Jeep is Jeep, basically uh, lifted up yeah. and pushed over a couple of lanes. And it's right after this, you see him gun it again, and then he's going to lose control right up here near the end of this block here, and he, he's going to smash into more cars, fly through the intersection Watch this. here, and that's when law enforcement gets behind him. He's going to come across several lanes, hit this car. Let's see what happens when the, this man that they arrested in that car. Th uh, yeah. Yeah, that's this guy in car. that car right there in the white car gets arrested, chat. Give up here. Look at that that front wheel. It's basically dislodged. But even here, scary that it's in a gas station. It's crazy. He backs up. He rams back into the fucking cop car. Cops pile in. They get into the other white car. Look, 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 look. Look at the white car. aggressive action. look at the incredible amount of law enforcement that showed up at this particular intersection. They're going to arrest him. Incredible sight to see. Yeah, this is unbelievable. And this is where the shot Look, watch that. Watch, 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 watch the corner. But you'll see, though, that the wheels are still turning. Oh, he's still watch, to get watch, right watch this. Look we're at what they're doing. Turning. And so you'll notice that his windshields are intact at the moment. But it's soon after this, then you'll see these big... They beat his ass, and then they arrest him. Place right there, and the, the person on the last car that was hit, we don't know what happened there. Maybe he was just really angry at the, at the Great sheriff news. For, for hitting, hitting us. He probably doesn't understand what just happened. But you'll notice the, the driver's side windshield on the side there. There it goes. There's a first blast, and there will be a, a couple more. And still trying to rev his tires there and try yeah. to take off, even it, in, this, in this state. Three more. I mean, there were three blasts in all that, that got into the windshield of uh, the driver's side. And it, soon after that, we see the wheel. What happened the there? Sparks on the far um, left, on the right side, the back tire there. That's what caused that fire. Exactly. And this is... Rewatch the crash part. He was a pickup they dude. The, they swap, the dude situations. swapped seats. Wait, He's no way. Boy, but this is... This was such a no way in so many different ways because he was so reckless and so dangerous and his refusal, the stubbornness, refusal to give up. Uh, no fucking way, dude. And that, what? And that poor guy has been watching this entire pursuit. We saw three side. attempts to carjack and two of them were. Successful. I mean, he is on the other side. He does get out of the non driver side, but that's crazy. This is important. We did get information from the newsroom that uh, everybody and the pets from the, in that home in Whittier, they are doing okay. Oh, Granted, goodness. this is their vehicle. Great news. Yeah, that's good news. Nobody was hurt in that confrontation. And boy, they really, they went, they really went to war with, with this guy. Uh, you know, they, they did not cower. They're, they're, you see them all uh, coming out. To the way this guy drove and ran into the dead ends, there's no shot he knows how to set up. To, Slip into their vehicle. Oh, there you see it. There's what if he was on a fucking call? That, really that, that gentleman in the, the white guy. shirt has a knife, and then he flies through their gate, and then the pursuit was on again. Uh, but they're said to be okay. But uh, so David and Ellen, yeah, they're ahead. preparing to fire more rounds. What? Cap, less than lethal rounds, uh, we believe, uh, and it's unclear. My Dog, he's dead, homie. Stop shooting at the fucking car. What are you talking about, dude? That's crazy, brother. It's over. What the fuck?
They're like, uh, they're, <laughs> they're sending an AC-130 tactical nuke inbound. Uh, reporters on the ground are saying cops have a very big budget and they are intending to blow it, if you will. Obviously, at the top of the hour, there's a 60-second ad break. If you no longer want to see those ads, all you need to do is blow through the budget with $5 a month and pay for a $5 a month subscription or a free one in the form of a Twitch Prime if you don't have the budget for it because you funded the police. It looks like he's that's got what I think as well. That's yeah, what I, I think that's where they have it. He's got the best shot right there. Uh, and they probably want to see be, if he's yeah. conscious. What are they doing? Maybe to see if well, there is movement. That, that is, I mean... Um, that's going to be the concern. Is is he conscious? Is he bleeding out? Paul Zanabi, thank you for the five. Get the subs allowing five people to no longer see the ads. Here's the woman at break now. They can't put themselves in danger. This guy has already proven he's not oh, yeah. going he's, to give up. He's definitely not. And he doesn't care about anybody else. Shrinwreck, thank you for the five. The Red Reaper, thank you for the five. Situations where you just got to handle it as safely as possible, but it's it's really tragic to see. And well. I mean, you know, the, when you think about the number of lives that he has put in danger mm. over the last 90 minutes. This is a pretty exciting case for your first on as the new L.A. County coroner. I am not the L.A. County coroner. Oh, shit. They're going in. Shields up, guns drawn, and they've got tactical tools at their disposal if they face any resistance. But Bro, the what the resistance? Oh, shit. Oh, I can't show you probably. Oh, they broke the window. The glass breaker is being employed, ramming the driver's side window, and now getting a much clearer view that we will... Baylor P, thank you for the fact that they're paying bills. Roger Burr, time moving. consumer. He is, he, is he, is he, is he is moving. He is moving. I saw his hand. Oh, yeah, he's the moving. The seat appears clear. Now they'll try. It looks like he's injured, and it looks like they're going to make an attempt to open... Yeah, he, he tanked him. I don't think they shot him with uh, uh, weapons. I, I don't think they shot him with lethal rounds. Window, guys, I have a feeling... They will just pull him right through. He's alive. The driver's side window without bothering with the door. Uh, we don't know what they kind of position be able to get the door open. But you saw what I saw, which was his hand moving. It looked like he maybe had crawled into the passenger seat. And there you go. They're going around the passenger seat. Those look like bullet holes, to, man. To bring him out. Wow. wow. Stepping out of the. He looks vehicle. fine. Whoa. What? Damn, what the fuck? He's fine. The most sane Cowboys fan in America. What the fuck? I'm sorry. I'm speechless. I am too. Just, uh, you know, I wow. never thought we'd see him walk out of that. It doesn't mean he's not hurt. He may be shot. He may be bleeding. But he's walking. But he's walking. He's alive. Incredible. Chat, this cost you, the taxpayers, $2 billion. He hit a number of people on the road. We have to investigate that. So that Jeep has me concerned. That's true. And the last gentleman. Bro, you think he critiques the cop driving on the way to jail? He's going to be like, dog, you literally can't drive. I just saw you. I juked you. You know what I mean? Like, you just, you're so bad. You're so bad at driving. Let me, let me grab the wheels. He's like, come on. Come on, let me grab the wheels, dog. Let me let me get a taste of this, okay? This just a Anomalous a Daniel, thank you for the tank of the four 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 fable. Big Cotton, thank you for the three. News. Uh, I don't. I, the casualty list is is I think fairly long. The people that he ran into how today. How many cars did he hit? Well, I lost count. And houses, mm -hmm. and there's lost property. Uh, this has been unbelievable, and yet we still don't know anything about this guy. This just started. As him being in a black Honda Civic and them trying to pull him over and he took off. It's we almost hard to believe it's over. I, 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 so he was in a black Honda Civic. He ran away, got into a white van, uh, bailed on the white van, got into that fucking Chevy truck that you saw him in. So he did two flips. Look, that's how it started in the broad daylight. Seconds later. About this, we were right over Knott's Berry Farm. And as they apprehended two suspects inside the park after locking down Soak City... We turned around, Anaheim PD's airship was heading to another pursuit. Of Bro, it's wild that the cops are nicer to the dude that they just shot at than the fucking random dude that he got, the random dude that got caught in the crossfire that was slammed into the fucking ground, ground and pound, and arrested for no reason. I'm losing my shit. How is this even possible, dude? That's VTech, baby. Look at that, 86 miles. Not even, no Mustang. 
can hit that, okay? No Mustang. Only Honda Civics, dude. Mm, fast as fuck, dude. That's that VTEC, baby. If he kept the Honda Civic, he would have been fine. He probably would have gotten away immediately. Okay, maybe not. Were placed into harm's way. I mean, a home invasion and the home invasion in the middle of it yeah. with dogs under the car. My heart was stopping uh -huh. when he got into that truck with the dogs under the truck. I mean, it's just endless. Uh, a roller coaster of emotions up here. But thank goodness. He did not break into that. What? Chris, I'm going to you know, I'm gonna talk folks through what they're seeing. This is the end yeah. of the Honda pursuit where he's trying to break into this vehicle. At first, Chris and I thought that maybe this was his Okay, car. this dude is a Chevy he's fan. Like, he's actually, he like... He was actually trying to break into that car, and he couldn't do it. So his, he became more and more frustrated, but you see his desperation. What was interesting here, there are, there are no police vehicles behind him. So he literally had the time to get out, try to break into a vehicle, give up on that, get back in the car, and then he was on his way again. What did he and drop, his AirPods? What the fuck was that? Around in this Honda Civic, he eventually found his way... Here. Yeah, he gets this van. Where he makes a run for it and finds this van there, and somehow he manages to. It was unlocked. And he manages to get inside or and he take broke off. In. We don't broken. know. It manages to start the darn thing, and but do you see? Okay, it's over. We got him blocked in, but no. No, he refused, and he was going back and forth and back and forth. He was determined to get out of there. And this is where I knew this has reached a level that's going to be extremely violent because he's refusing to give up. He's daring police to try to shoot him, but they didn't. They, they, they Three times? maintained discipline. He was you blasting Cardi? No. And really here get some leverage. Fire okay, fire department here is the here. Fire department. They're going to check him out, and likely, in all likelihood, he will be placed into an ambulance with an escort yeah i'm sh uh, I mean, just I find he it, ran I guess, that car six times already on the right hand side yeah are, are we looking at the van that you're looking bro at? he literally yeah. cooked yeah. these cops bro he embarrassed yeah. them yeah. thoroughly yeah. okay he pushes yeah. it back another foot or so until he gets his space and, and there's only one unit there and so there he is you see chat don't guy. worry uh you know more fun content like this will continue happening in los angeles because crime is legal uh, we voted for it, and also, uh, you know, progressive DAs, they will let him, uh, he'll see the sunlight. The non-maneuverable vehicle, and... Uh, so he's going to be fine, you know, he, he's, he's out, he's out on bail, no cash, we ended cash bail, he's out on no bail, good behavior by tomorrow morning. Took another... He ran. I mean, it was a full-on foot pursuit into that neighborhood. He went, he must have ran a couple of blocks. Is he alive? Yeah, no, he is. home, and then stealing... This pickup truck. Yeah, we're still I, watching him. Incredible, uh, incredible stamina. We're Honestly. still watching him in the in the van as he uh, uh, eventually just kind of took off in the van, hazard lights on and everything. And on the left hand side, that's the live picture. You see uh, fire department uh, checking him out. Um, I'm sure so curious to see what kind of injuries he has with all those shots being fired inside that car. But on the right hand side, that's the van that he refused to to give up on. Oh, okay. okay. All right. Well, I'm sorry, we David. We do have our me? reporter, David Gonzalez, at the scene where that van was stolen. Uh, what do you know there, David? Hey, Ellen, and this is an absolutely crazy pursuit in the way it ended. I can tell you that the police officers here in Anaheim were actually following our live stream. They were just amazed at what they were seeing because it started here as well as Chris Chris what? after that suspect. Bro, he's just they're gassing each other up now, dude. That's crazy. Condominium area. It was parked right behind me. You still see police officers here on the That's scene. crazy. Um, we actually spoke to the owner of that van who said he was not here at the sites of this townhouse apartment complex um, and that someone actually told him that this pursuit was taking place, that this van had been stolen. He rushed to this area and realized that that was his van. I don't know if we could play that video of that suspect j jumping into that van, but you just see him jump into the van and basically try to steal it. He stole it and starts backing up into that police officer that had parked up and pulled up right behind him and just started ramming that van over and over and over until he was able to get away and he led obviously authorities through this pursuit all across uh orange county until he led into uh la county and that's where he was 
I, um, lost a tire, got stuck, and then we obviously saw him, as you guys have mentioned, uh, break into a home and then steal another van. But we actually caught up with that homeowner, excuse me, with that. Uh, yeah, cops were watching being like, God damn, he broke our ankles good. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it was crazy. Broke into the van and then was able to steal the van. You want to come and in? After he Here. was able to steal the van. As this guy probably lives in that van, by the way. Came up behind him and he backed out and was ramming the police to get out of the parking area. And as he did, and he took off. Silent Echo 111. Thank you for the tank of the subs. Hey guys, back out here live. The owner of that van just walked out of the home because he's been watching this all develop all across SoCal following this pursuit closely. Uh, once again, just walk us through when you realized that your van was actually involved in this pursuit and obviously how it all ended. Okay, well, the uh, president of the HOA, how I found out, called me when we were almost home from leaving Knott's Berry Farm. And so what happened was we were at Knott's Berry Wait, Farm and we were what? leaving Knott's Berry Farm and we saw all the police He's activity coming. going on and He's we were kind of joking about it like, wow, this is crazy. It's all getting too close to home. And then right before we pulled in our parking lot, the president of the HOA called me and said, I think somebody stole your van. And I thought she was like half kidding or she's definitely mistaken if she's not kidding. And then I'm like, no, probably not. How, why would you think that? And she said, and then she went to on explaining. And then she's like, no, John, I'm watching your van on TV right now. They stole. Bro, that van has like uh, top air conditioning, dude. That's like, that looks like, you know. You can live in that van. And sure enough, when it came up, obviously the police were here and everything. You guys stand right here. Don't move, okay? And so, anyways, when we were leaving Knott's Berry Farm, my wife goes, you know, this is all getting too weird. It's getting too close to home with all the police activity and everything. Only to come home and find out it was my van that they stole. It was just too strange. Yes. I, I think a lot of people have the question, were your keys in the van? No. Did he hotwire it? What, what, what took place do you think that he was able to get away with your van? So right here, okay? And I definitely lock my car every time. So he either has some kind of master key or he hotwired the car. But he definitely knew what he was doing because after he got done with my car, he was able to hop in another car and take it as well. I think a lot of people are wondering, too, was this a work van? What was this van for you? It's my work vehicle. And as a matter of fact, we got I got to go rent a van now because I'm going to need to work tomorrow because my clients expect me to be there on a daily basis. So in just what kind of predicament does this put you in? Obviously, your van right now, uh, it lost a tire. That's such fire. a bummer, dude. That, that's that's that the real... That, that's something that we're gonna actually could ask maybe uh, David and Ellen back back in the studio. We saw the back tire catching on fire. Um, it was stuck in, in in a spot where it couldn't move because they had lost that tire, but we can actually confirm it was on fire. But just what predicament does it put you in knowing that your van is now part of a, a, a major crime scene all across the city? Well, I'm, uh, I'm completely blown away and-, and Why is Aiden in trouble? Watch Aiden stream. What, what happened? Amount to anything. Hope bad shit happens to you all your whole life, bro. Look at me, bro. This is like not. I hear helicopters, bro. Like this shit is fucking weird, bro. What? Yeah, you know why I live in shit? That shit is weird. And now I gotta sit like this, bro. And there's gonna be guns pointing at me on stream. I hear walkie talkies right now. Y'all are oh, fucking late. Oh, oh, dude, stop, 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 stop. Fucking Christ. Okay. So my wife is that. You guys are so dumb. Our kids are safe and our family is safe. And, and we thank God for that. Fucking All dumbass right, chatters, much, dude. You're so fucking stupid. Chatters, you're so stupid. Why? Why are you so stupid? Shut the fuck up. Able to so easily break into his van, which was parked in the parking lot of this townhouse condominium, um, and get away and just ram this uh, police officer over and over and over until it was able to get away. But as as he mentioned, he's very he's very sad because this is his work van that he depends on every day. Now he's going to have to find another way to basically take care of his clients who depend on him. Back to you. That's guys. really sad. Look, there is a there is a. Uh, I mean, this is look 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 look. Uh, there are obviously real victims to the situation, you know, the average citizen. The other dude probably also got his uh, shit stolen. Uh, the other dude 
Got his work van stolen. You know what I mean? Um, anyway. Why are you fighting chat? Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. Move on. 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 Uh, anyway, listen. Okay. We are not going to be able to move on from this. It doesn't seem. Uh, do you think they found the? Do you think we'll find out about the guy that they ran?